Engineers in Finland are engaged in a groundbreaking project. They are building the world's first permanent site for disposing of nuclear fuel. The facility will need to contain the hazardous waste for up to 100,000 years. That's how long it takes for radiation to decrease to a level at which it's safe. The accident at Fukushima forced government officials around the world to rethink their approach to nuclear power. France is a global leader in nuclear energy. Authorities there have selected a potential disposal site. They say the facility will be operational by 2025. German officials had decided on a location, but they put those plans on hold after Fukushima. Officials in the United States were considering a facility in Nevada, but those plans are also on hold, having been blocked by the Obama administration. Authorities in Japan intend to build the disposal facility, but have yet to decide on a location. Their counterparts in Finland are well on their way. The engineers have already started excavating an underground facility. NHK World Takashi Ando reports. Deep below ground in Finland, workers are digging permanent disposal site for spent nuclear fuel. The work is taking place near Eurayoki, a small town about 200 kilometers from the capital, Helsinki. The government chose the site in 2000. That was after surveying about 100 locations around the country. The construction work is being done by a company set up by two Finnish power companies. The company is digging into hard bedrock 420 meters down. It says this is deep enough to protect the waste, even from another ice age. When they hit the bottom, they will dig horizontal tunnels to store the waste. The government plans to start burying nuclear waste in 2020 and continue for 100 years. The spent fuel will be taken from seven reactors around the country. These canisters, made of cast iron and copper, will hold up to 12,000 tons of waste and are designed to resist corrosion. In 2120, the holes will be filled in and the land above restored to forest. Then the wait begins for the radioactivity to decay. 100,000 years. We are considering the next coming 1,100 years. The government chose this site because of the hard bedrock. It dug more than 50 tunnels to examine the ground structure. The survey found that this area has not experienced volcanic activity or a large earthquake for over a billion years. The Finnish government has taken a clear stand on nuclear waste. Countries that generate it should be responsible for its disposal. Eurayoki is a small town of just 6,000. The taxes paid by the nuclear industry account for 30% of its revenue. If we have the disposal facility, we will be able to provide better services compared to other towns of our size. That includes health care, social security, education and housing. The Bartonens live about 20 kilometers from the plant site. Like many people in the area, they back the policy of being responsible for disposing of nuclear waste. Finland has built nuclear power plants and is using them, so we need to build final disposal sites as well. But how can the site's safety be assured so far into the future? Some people have doubts. Hello. Hello. Michael Madison is the director of Into Eternity, a documentary that raises hard questions about the project. One is communication. How do we warn people of the danger beneath their feet 100,000 years in the future? And obviously you see when you go 100,000 years back in the past we come to uh, our ancestors in Africa. And we also cover as we go along our ancestors in, uh, in Europe in, uh, in the form of the Neanderthal uh, man. 
it is uh, difficult to explain to these people something with nuclear waste. It is the first time in human history that we are producing something that has consequences for at least 3,000 generations into the future. You can say that nuclear energy is the epitome of human technological achievement. It stands on all our knowledge. At the same time, you have this kind of, you can say, darkness concerning this time span that you don't know how to deal with, really. Finland is entering uncharted territory. Human technology has never been tested on such a time scale. And only time will tell if they have solved the problem of nuclear waste or simply covered it up. Takashi Ando, NHK World, Eurayoki, Finland.